if you go on you on YouTube and you search like a certain type of throw that's like easy to do for a jiu-jitsu person, like pulling guard, those they're called sacrifice throws, and you can see highlights of, of really fantastic judo guys like throwing people in the most effortless ways because it doesn't really require as much perfect setup. It's just kind of falling to the ground with grips. Um, so we're going to start there. So the foundation of like pulling off a really pretty sacrifice throw starts with just a good guard pull. So we'll kind of breeze through some very basic common ones that don't necessarily build on like a dynamic toss later on, but just to kind of set a really good framework of what we're going to build off of. When we're going to be pulling guard, you have to remember there's one rule that kind of puts a constraint on, on guard pulling is that you have to grab something to pull guard. Like I can't just be here and just like run at him and jump and pull guard. I have to actually make contact with his gi anywhere. It, the belt, the sleeve, I can even just grab his hand or f even fingers. A lot of times you can trick people if you, you do this and people just, they always do that. You don't have to tell them. They just put their hands there and that's a great way to like pull quickly. If you, if you don't want to risk him like grabbing your leg at the same time, because maybe I go like this and I go to pull too slow and he grabs my leg on the way down and I, I, he scores on me. So there is like some little strategy there. You could like do it like that, grab his fingers. But let's look at just like a really solid, basic way to pull guard. Now, you've probably seen a guard pull like this where you put your foot in the hip. So foot in the hip, I don't recommend because you're putting your foot like way high up in his hip. And a lot of times I see people, um, Albert mainly, <laughs> putting their foot up and then sitting down. And it's very slow and it's, there's no dynamicness to it. And if you, if you try it, you'll notice that you're putting so much weight on your free leg or the bottom, the base leg, that it's almost like doing a pistol squat. And it's like, ugh, kind of awkward. And the momentum doesn't go anywhere except like right into the ground. So if you're going to pull guard by putting your foot in the hip, you have to at least do it right. So the way to do it right is to add some like angular momentum around him. Instead of just going here and like falling straight down, if you add momentum, it's gonna kind of fling him like that around me. And that's gonna make it so that he has to be thinking about his balance and his base and what's happening. So he'll be much less likely to be able to grab your leg or take you down. So the way we're gonna do that is just a very simple step. I'm just gonna step across his body like this. That's gonna set all the momentum I need. I'm stepping totally far across. And the great thing about this is that this doesn't really leave me open to a throw as long as I have this sleeve control. If I don't have this sleeve control, he could totally just oh, so to guard is really bad. So you always wanna make sure sleeve control at least, collar control is bonus points. And I have sleeve and collar, I'm gonna step all the way across. And as I step across, I'm gonna pivot on the ball of my foot like this. And I'm gonna swing my leg and really swing it all the way around. And as I swing it all the way around, I'm dropping to the ground and swinging that leg up here. And as I swing it up, I'm gonna make solid contact with his abdomen. And I'm also gonna pull myself underneath him at the same time. So you're probably thinking this isn't, this isn't a very basic guard pull, but it is. We just have to really practice this kind of movement here. And as I swing, I'm gonna try and do it slow. I'm gonna drop to the ground and I'm gonna pull right here and bring my foot underneath his stomach. Now the reason I do this is because if I, if I built enough momentum, I can bring him off the ground and potentially bring him all the way over the top for like a, that's called a tomonagi, which is a type of sacrifice throw. But I don't intend you to hit that. You're just making him kind of base away from it. Because if he respects your movement, he's gonna back away rather than engage and get two points or get to a good position. So we're stepping around. Just like that. And then from there you can set up whatever guard you want. Any questions on that? How it works or anything? You guys are such good students. All right, on two, one, two. Get in the mindset that this is difficult or too fancy. Just try and swing off of them like your Tarzan or something. Use that collar grip to really swing around. Step all the way across. <laughs> that was really good, Abby. The swing though, <laughs> say, it, say it louder next time, and then swing your leg like you're gonna step, but instead of stepping, you're just like making it miss the ground up into her stomach. <laughs> yep, big step and swing. 
Nice. That's perfect. That was perfect. So how would you skip two? One? No, that was, that was three again. Just two. How do we condense this to two steps? One step? Nope, that is a cross. It's a cross. Oh, it's a cross step? Yeah. One. That's two. So the two should already be in his hip. So go a little. Okay, okay, okay. One. Two. So like yeah, but, okay. but you don't have to twist like this. You're going you're gonna to step and you're gonna swing your leg, and then instead of stepping, so it looks like this, but on the way down, I just kind of take my own base out. Okay. See that? Yeah. And then I'm like primed on this sort of torsion effect here. Yeah. On the stomach. Got it. So don't over rotate. Step. So you're turning your foot the wrong way. That's the only problem. Okay. You wanna be, grab, grab his collar and sleeve. You're here. You want this foot this way and this foot. You're gonna end like this. Oh. That's where I want you to end. Okay. So that step lands you here. Okay. Try again. Sorry, Tyler. <laughs> point your toes this way, out to your left. Okay. Your toes point to your left. Yes, there you go. And then point them out. Exactly, and the smoother you can make that falling motion where you like, you pull him with you on the way down, yeah. brings him over your foot. So the elevation comes at the bottom and the fall pulls him over the top. Got it. And okay. that brings his center of gravity over your foot. Thank you. The elbow here. There is a big difference and it doesn't really like, yeah, this yeah. is more like a grip to, I feel like you could potentially sweep them with the pull. Uh -huh. This is more like grip them to avoid them passing your guard. You know okay, what I mean? I hear you. Yeah, so then you control, their you control the wrist more, but up here they're gonna grab your collar on the way down. Yeah. So maybe they could like do an X pass or something. Yeah, like, I see, I see. So, but you're not gonna be able to launch them with the, the sleeve grip as much. I see. I, see. I mean, some judo people can, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. but I think that would be the distinction I would make. Okay. okay. Yeah. Nice. That was beautiful. See, the trick here is. I told them it was a simple move, but I actually taught them the Tomonagi, and they're all doing it perfectly.